What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. He's just gonna break bad. In this clip, new female driver working for Warner Enterprise doing the Dollar Tree account. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Okay, hello, everyone. I have a lot of followers on here, so I want to be 100% transparent with you. I pay for my schooling on my own. It was like $5,900. And I'm not sponsored through Warner in any kind of way at all. Like, I'm literally, I literally, I'm just an employee of theirs. And also, I do the Dollar Tree account. And at first, no, don't get me wrong, I did not like the account. But I was like, I'm the type of person I give everything three tries just to see if I like it. And I was like, okay, I can do this, you know? But one thing I do like about Warner, well, there's actually a lot of things I like about Warner. I love the fact, oh, you guys see, I have my Warner gear on, but I just want to be 100% honest. I love the fact that they are family oriented. Like, what, my goodness. For women, I don't know if it's the same for men or what it is, but they are 100%. So, if you're a new driver and you're looking for a company to get started with, your background good you can pass a hair follicle test you can pass a regular drug test you are good you can definitely start with them they pay you well they look out for you the dollar jury account me personally at first i was like mm, i don't like it but i was like you know what let me just do this i'm trying to lose weight anyway you know this is like a free pay for workout you know because i'm gonna be at the gym spending my money to work out you know would you pay me to work out Thank you. I appreciate you. You know? So. Drivers, man, let me know. Have you guys worked at any of the dollar accounts? The dollar accounts for Swift. U.S. Express, Warner, Martin, and the rest of the companies that has the dollar accounts. Me, personally, can't do it. That would be a negative. Even though when I came into the game, they tried to sweeten the pot $1,500 a week, uh, $100 or $150 per trailer, and you get paid cent per mile per stop but let me explain something to you what they don't tell you you will be working your ass off i'm talking ass off front to back top to bottom them places do not know how to load a trailer properly that's just in my opinion now some of you guys say hey i don't have a problem with it as as with this young lady but the dollar accounts is not for the faint of heart you will be sweating in the summertime in the winter time in the fall in the spring you will be dropping buckets of sweat you will also get a workout yes sir you will get a workout you don't even need a Planet Fitness card when you're doing the dollar account. But for me, let me know if you guys agree with me in the comment section. I did not pay $5,000 plus for my CDLs to go and work in the, to go and work like a factory worker while driving a truck. I don't believe I did that. That wasn't the consensus of me getting my CDL. Getting my CDL was to drive the truck, drive the load to where it needs to go, pick up the load, I mean, pick up the load to where it's from need to be, okay? Not to get behind the truck and unload a freaking trailer full of product at these dollar accounts. Can't do it. Can't do it. I'm sorry. Much, hey, look, look, look. Much love to everybody else that is doing it. I believe you guys got kind into it, you know, by saying $1,500 a week and bonuses and stuff like that. But, baby, 
at the end of the week, you're going to be tired. What you going to want to be doing? You ain't going to have time to be doing nothing with your significant other. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be tired. You're going to be in the bed, sleep. <laughs> By the time you get back up out the bed, it's time to get back in the truck and do it all over again. Yo, let's see what the comments got to say. This commenter says, yo, how much does the account pay? Well, depending on what account that you go with or what trucking company that you go with, some pay as much as $2,000 a week. But believe me, sir, you will work for that $2,000 a week. I'm just saying. This commenter says, that's good to hear, especially as a woman. Yes, getting into this, getting into the field as a woman is always a good thing. This female commenter says, I can't unload my own trailer. Hats off to you. This commenter says, did family dollar for six months and I got out of it. This commenter says, on average, how many like these you unload in a day? I'm thinking about it so hard, but I don't know. Salute to you. This commenter says, no help with the eye open emojis. No, you don't get no help. None. Not even when you're training, you have that little bit of help right there. But after that, you're on your own. And you got to be quick about it because you got two other stops that you got to unload as well. You'll Eventually, you'll get a hang of it. You'll get the flow of it once you do it a lot. But I'm telling you, this account is not for the fate of heart. I'm telling you. This commenter says, I do not miss them days at all. This commenter says, girl, you should be working for UPS. You work a lot harder than most people I've seen in the last week. This commenter says, that's what you call real hardworking, phenomenal woman. Hey, you, you can call her what you want. <laughs> you can call her what you want. You can call her phenomenal. You can call her strong. You can call her independent. But I'm telling you, that's, that's not for everybody. This commenter says Dollar Tree warehouses need to consider using pallets and plastic wrap. This is way too much. This commenter says, I don't understand why someone do. I don't understand why someone would do all of that work. There are places that use pallets and plastic wrap. Exactly. This commenter says, been there, done that. Keep going. This commenter says, make sure you stay hydrated in that trailer. Yes. Yes. Because you're going to be sweating buckets. Sweating buckets. <laughs> this commenter says, my dad just retired and told me you either going to work on the truck or drive the truck. You can't do both. Perfect. Perfect. You can't do both. You're either going to. Unload the truck or be, you know, be the, the, the side person to help unload the truck or you going to drive the truck. You can't do both. You'll be freaking tired. This commenter says, I need a week off after unloading one trailer. Yes, sir, but they only give you two days, though. This commenter says, bruh, that's literally two to three hours worth of work unloading right there. That's not for me. This commenter says, just look at just look at it as you're getting paid to work out. Bruh. That, see, I that's what I don't like what people say that. I'm not getting paid to work out. If I wanted to get paid to work out, I would go and find a job that'll pay me directly to work out. That's not gonna work. I spent $5,000 plus to get my license to become a truck driver, not to become a trailer unloader. So no, sir, I am not feeling the fact that I'm getting paid to work out because if I want to work out, I'll go and work out. And if I don't want to work out, I don't want to work out. I don't think I would have to work to work out. That's just, that's, that's just me.